okay this will be an interesting one let's see if we can make it look good so I think this one will go text how big are we going to make this 200 Text enhance, this will be good. Going all the way with a contrast. Copy density in the middle. Sharpness, saturation. <sighs> Gonna go with the color balance. It's basically yellow magenta black there's no cyan in this original image so we're just going to strengthen up those colors and including in the black so let's see what we've got it is it's a no door knocker sign funnily enough i got that from my energy australia electricity bill today this is to say to people who want to sell you things not to knock on your front door and try to solicit try to sell services you know door knockers yeah they can be a pain but the thing is what's really a pain is that my electricity bill's gone up again so fuck that I don't even I, my front door is actually I'm in a unit block so I've got a security door down down the bottom so they'd have to come through the security door and basically uh yeah unfortunately it's a manual door at we often leave it open but even then it's it's enough to deter a door knocker door knockers normally um, go after houses or people who live in houses or where they where there's no act where there's access to the front door which is a no-brainer now I think we've made this too high but basically yeah it's just this is just to put on your front door to deter people who want to knock on your door trying to sell you their business or services that you don't want because it's all about money which is really dumb and that's what the electricity industry is all about fucking money it shows <laughs> why do we get such big expensive electricity bills even when we don't use a heater or an air conditioner fuck that but that's the problem we have capitalism is a big disease and as a disease it, it basically how should i put it <sighs> It's a sickness and people go crazy trying to sell things. This is all about capitalism. And capitalism is a bad smell. People can still make money. There's nothing wrong with money per se. It's just when people put money first before, before everything, well, basically, it's not good. It's not acceptable. But unfortunately, that's the way the world has become. <laughs> it's not the way I'd like to see the world. I'd like to see fairness. I'd like to see rich people giving their money away so they can help others who are less fortunate than, than themselves, but they're not like that. They just love their fucking money. They could have sick. For all I know, they've probably got a, bunch, a pile of money and they're fucking it off. They're, they're having sex with it. That's money fuckers. You know, honestly, they might as well be. It might as well be their fucking girlfriend or their fucking wife that they get wedded to money. <laughs> I like to take the piss out of pigs, capitalist pigs. I like to make fun of them and deride them because they're fucking assholes. They, they take our fucking money and they don't give us enough. They sell mirages. You know, they make promises that, don't, that often don't materialise. They make things up. They have these stupid advertising campaigns on the radio and the television and they fucking don't care. And, and you know that their product is shit. Often you know from past experience that their product is shit, uh, but they still spruik it. On, <laughs> and a lot of people are gullible enough to believe these bitches, these cunts. Silly. Stupid. I only, I only buy things when I need things, typically. It's not something I don't, I don't just follow with the advertising narration. I try to work out if the product is fit for purpose and if it's if it's something that I need rather than something that just becomes an impulse buy 
This is ridiculous. You know, the way the world has gone with its money fucking. It can be... and People are dying on the street. Homeless people are not getting enough warmth. I mean, how can you live on the fucking street in wintertime? And if you go to New York and you're homeless, if you're a homeless person in New York, how the fuck are you going to survive in the middle of winter when it's fucking snowing and it's like... Oh, I don't understand Fahrenheit. I don't know. Whatever. If it's, say, 10 degrees centigrade below freezing, I don't know if that's how far, how deep the temperatures go in New York. I've never been to New York. I'd love to go there one day, but I sure wouldn't want to be homeless in New York. Uh, And they get treated like shit. So, if you think it's bad in Sydney being homeless, but hey, it is. I'm not discrediting anyone being homeless in Sydney. But what would be more extreme is if you lived in New York and you found yourself homeless. That would be dreadful. You'd die. But you still die in Sydney. But I do think there's more fatalities in places where you get snow cover. You know, you get snow. Oh, I forgot one thing, babbling on. I should have used mirror image. Sorry, folks. I'm just going to take that and put it aside. And I'm just going to switch it to mirror image. Yes. So basically, it's not... Capitalism isn't working. And there could come a time when we have such a huge downturn... uh, we have another recession or another Great Depression. Well, just imagine we have another Great Depression here in, in the next coming couple of coming years. So imagine it's a great, it's like a Great Depression in the 21st century, and that people are, can't afford the, the rising electricity bills, and they keep going up and up and up and up and up and up, and they can't do anything more to ration their power, they might simply stop using it. And basically, there'll be less business for the power generators like Energy Australia. I don't know if Energy Australia actually generate electricity, but I know that they market it. And and the thing is, if everyone keeps turning off and people just can't afford it, well, well, there might come a time when the companies go broke, totally broke. They can't afford to run run the generators because they need people to maintain them, they need people to run them. I don't know exactly how it works, but if you have not enough money to keep the power companies in business, they're going to go broke. And if they go broke, who knows? We might have worldwide blackouts, as in the whole world will eventually, one by one, piece by piece, countries will be going off grid because they can't afford to run the the power generators or the power stations. And then we might have a time when we have no electricity in this world. No electricity. Imagine it, folks. No electricity. You know, all the simple things that you take for granted are powered by electricity. Like if you want to travel, you need petrol. What are the petrol pumps going to be running on to pump your fuel? Fucking electricity. What about the water... um, How should I put it? What about your sewerage or your water? It has pumps. Chances are those pumps are electric, not fucking steam. But you need people to run steam because most power plants in... uh, uh, A lot of power plants in Australia are still coal, which uses steam to turn the turbines. So basically, everything runs... Just assume everything runs on power, ultimately. Your banks, everything. You're not going to have anything... It's hard to, to... explain how how catastrophic it would be if the whole world eventually lost power completely it would be referred to as a post-electric period so could mankind survive mankind could wipe themselves out and fuck all because of greed greed we didn't need this why can't we enjoy the beauty of nature why do we have to destroy nature why can't we have more renewables and Free electricity, guys. Why? Why, energy companies? Do you charge us and rip us off? And we have to keep changing companies just so we can get a good deal. This is not acceptable, fucks. You capitalist piggies have the power to make a change and you're not doing it. So fuck off, go fuck your money, and I hope the fucking world blacks out because I'm not scared of dying. 
I've got a solution to my own problem if this world were to go off grid for indefinitely. I couldn't give a fuck. I've got my my escape plan, and if I die of disease or what, I don't want to die a slow, lingering death, but I'm not afraid of dying, so fuck off. You rich people would not have a, a leg to stand on. You're not going to cope without your money, your electricity, your luxuries. You are fucking going to die, and you don't care. You don't think of the future. Your lives are in danger as much as ours, bitches. So fuck off with your money fucking. Think about it. Use your fucking pea brains and somehow get a life outside of capitalism. We've got to think to prevent this. We've got to prevent this, right? But you're not going to listen. You're fucking stupid. You're fucking too absorbed in your love of money and your selfish ways. Got to go.